What's up everybody, it's Corey McKinnon here, real estate investor and coach to many in Canada when it comes to real estate investing. And in today's video, we're gonna be highlighting a student success story. And we have Jacob Perez here spending time on his duplex conversion in Hamilton, Ontario. Now Jacob is a very successful real estate investor. He's also a mortgage broker, one of the partners at Synergy Mortgages. So make sure you watch to the very end of this video to see how Jacob picked up this property as well as the numbers on this property because they're very juicy. I wish I could do deals like this all day long. So let's jump right in. Hey, this is Jacob Perez. We're about to walk through my latest Burr project on the West Mountain in Hamilton, Ontario. Come on in. Okay, so this is originally a single family home that we're converting into two units. So what we did is we blocked off the entrance to the basement. We're creating a laundry unit for the main upstairs unit. There was a load bearing wall here that was actually removed. And then right over here in this corner was actually a second staircase that went down to the basement. So we covered this floor here, created some additional square footage in here. But then other than that, it was really just new flooring, new paint, new kitchens, new lighting, and uh, make it a lot more modern style unit. So down here in the basement unit, this corner over here actually used to be a bathroom. And then over on this side over here, this actually used to be a staircase that went up to the main floor. So what we did was we blocked everything off. We took the bathroom, we moved it over to this side. And this whole open area here is gonna be an open concept kitchen with a new full island. We took it from one bed to two bed. And this type of unit would probably rent around $17.50 a month. Hey everyone, I'm Jacob Perez. I'm a real estate investor. I've been investing in real estate the last nine years. And I'm also a mortgage agent. My team, Synergy Mortgage Group, actually specifically helps investors. We help people go from one to 10 properties. We help about a thousand investors every single year in Ontario. So if you're looking to invest in real estate, you can hit me up. And uh, specifically, I'm usually in the Hamilton market. So if you have questions there, we'd love to chat. So I bought this property around $600,000. And we put about $110,000 into the renovation. Afterwards, it's gonna be worth about $850, and it's gonna rent total about $4,250 per month between both units. So cash flow is gonna be around $1,200. So how I found this property is a little bit unique, but it's becoming more common in this whole kind of pandemic COVID atmosphere we're living through. What's happening right now is that a lot of homeowners don't want to list their properties on the market because they're afraid of a lot of traffic coming through their household. So a real estate agent in my network actually had this listing, but instead of putting it on the market, they contacted me directly and I was able to close on it without competing with any competition. So when it comes to assessing, is this property a good deal to proceed with? I actually have different criteria and different metrics depending on what market I'm actually investing in. So here in Hamilton, where I already have my power team built up, I live in Hamilton, it's a lot easier for me to do transactions here. I actually have a lot easier requirement when it comes to buying properties here. So for me, I typically execute the Burr strategy and my goal is to get my renovation funds and about half my down payment back. And that makes the deal good enough for me to proceed. In this case, I'm actually gonna do a lot better than that but if i'm able to get half my down payment back then i consider that a good deal so when it comes to struggles typically any real estate project you're going to run into some bumps along the road for me on this project it was really just finding a contractor you know so many contractors are really busy right now and people i typically work with just weren't available to pick up the job luckily i was able to find a contractor and it's been moving really smoothly so knock on wood that stuff continues when it comes to real estate, you know, you're always learning lessons, but I think usually the biggest lesson we've learned in the last, you know, nine years that I've been doing this is just keep going. If you're not sure about a deal or you're a little bit on the fence about the number,
numbers. If you actually purchase the property, you'll find with time in the game, it ends up being a really strong investment. So working with a coach and more specifically working with Corey, you get connected with a huge network. And with this network, we're seeing people buying and closing on properties all the time. And naturally you get a little bit of FOMO. You want to be part of the mix. So it actually creates a lot of accountability to keep chasing after your goals. But when it comes to coaching, you know, it's not just about real estate investing, you know, it's about time management, it's about your psychology, and a lot of that stuff will actually translate to many different areas of your life. So you're somebody on the fence thinking about investing in coaching, I think it's an investment that will always return. So typical advice for anybody investing in real estate, what you're gonna find is this is one of the most collaborative industries out there. No other industries can you just pick up the phone, call a random person, and they're willing usually to drop everything and help you out. So if you are a new investor, I'd really recommend networking, get to know as many people as possible, meet as many people as possible, and that's gonna make your journey a lot smoother. Corey, thanks for having me on the channel, and thanks for walking through my latest Burr project here in Hamilton. There you have it, everybody. Student Highlight with Jacob Perez. Now make sure you've, you've smashed the like button and you've definitely hit subscribe for more videos here because you don't wanna miss out on all the different nuggets that we're dropping here every single week when it comes to real estate investing. We wanna make sure that you're not sitting on the sidelines when it comes to real estate investing here in 2022, 2023 or beyond. So make sure you are taking action. Until next time, be amazing.